Hello, welcome to a new series that I'm doing. Um, this time it's just a playthrough of Ark Survival Ascended. I'm planning on doing all the bosses and probably uh, trying to tame as many of the different creatures as we can find that are tameable. Uh, so let's start with this. Uh, I am male. And is there a random button? <laughs> I just want to randomize it. Uh, it's not seeming really going to let me do that. At least I can't see a random. Oh, there it is. Let's just pick something moderately okay. Uh, with proportions that aren't a little bit mental. Let's see what we've got. It all seems to have really long legs, or it's just me. Let's go with him. He looks fine. Okay. Um, now, I am going to start in, I think, one of the hard zones, which sounds a little bit ridiculous, but I've played this game enough. I should know what I'm doing. Um, let's go with this one. Are you the one I've been waiting for? You might be. I hope so. It's been so many cycles since I was her. Do I even still remember Hope? I wasn't sure you'd ever turn up. The odds just kept getting longer. I guess I've been losing faith. While well, they've been gaining power. You have to reach me. Everything depends on your survival. Master this world. Make allies of its many creatures. Grow your strength and skill. Explore this place like I did so long ago. Put the pieces together and find me, Survivor. You may be the only one who can. Uh, star movies, videos, whatever go. I quite like that one. Sounds like something's after me already. Let's just see if we can just change some of the settings just to make it a bit smoother. Uh, max frame rate. Let's put on 60. Motion blur. Yeah, but we'll turn that off. I don't want anyone getting sick. I can't stand motion blur. Uh, what's it on presets? Let's just put it on low and see how terrible it looks. So, as always, uh, we just need to gather loads of stuff first. <laughs> so let's see what can we get. Uh, stones. Normally, what I would do at first on this is just try and get as many level ups as I can. Uh, the best way to do that early is just to grab as much fiber as you can as possible and just make a load of hats, basically. Getting level ups relatively quick already. Just from gathering. I didn't actually check. I don't think I've turned the rates up. I think they're on default, so. It should be on one times. I don't like turning it up. Um, I prefer playing the game as it's meant to be played. More difficult as that might be. Let's just quickly. Oh. And where's that moss chop's gone? Oh, 
What do you want for tea, Ben? Uh, giant honeybee. Yeah, I don't have that. Giant honeybee? You don't want the bee, you want the honey. Um, yeah, I don't have that, so forget that. Okay, so... Is that a... Too close to it, but... I'll be trying to tame one of them as soon as I can do. Thunder chicken behind there, some... Okay, we've got a few of the basic things. Um, better get a weapon to defend ourselves with. First things first, though, I'm going to... A couple more points in weight. I'm going to unlock the cloth hat. And I'm just going to set my guy build... At least as many as I can. To slow us down. If you're crafting uh, and trying to move around, it will slow you down, so be wary of that. I'm sure I created a male character. I don't know why I've got a woman's voice, but I'll run with it. just damage your character, in case you don't know. You see the health bar on the bottom right is a little bit low. I'm just going to go and stand up here to make sure I don't get killed by anything while I'm messing with my inventory. Right, we need the hatchet. We need a campfire. Um, we need spears. We obviously need clothes. Then we're going to go for... Hmm, I want a lot of that. Can't use it yet, but I'll take it anyway. More and pestle. Spark powder. That should do for now. So we need a hatchet. We need flint. Uh, which means we need a pick first. Now we've got the flint. Get that equipped. Let's get some stone. try and do is get to the bow as early as I can. Yeah, the bow is extremely useful as early in the game. Uh, we need a couple more level ups before we get there, so let's just chop a few of these trees down. you pick on the trees you will get thatch and a little bit of wood if you use the hatchet you'll get wood and a little bit of thatch just in case anybody didn't know that one level up need one more Thunder chicken is hiding in the trees. Okay, there we go. We should be able to unlock the bow now.
Oh, stone arrows. We need bowlers. And I'll take a club as well. Let's get those built. Oh, sure. Fiber. Okay. Yeah, we made hats of them. Thing I'll unlock now, uh, if I can, is no, no, no. We have, have one anger on point. Nothing. Uh, let's wait for another level up. Tame the lost shops first, um, so I can make uh, so I can make um, or at least harvest for narco berries as quickly as I can. Um, I'm relatively safe at the moment on the beach, but without a shadow of a doubt, there'll be some raptors around in a minute, uh, which is also why I need to be able to make bowlers. Um, the easiest way to kill the raptors is just to bowl them and then smack them to death. Usually they'll arrive in pairs. Sometimes you'll get three or four of them. I don't want to get caught with me, uh, well, I haven't got any pants on, but pants down. All right, a couple more bushes and we should have a level up. Thank you. I'll try and get a base down as quickly as possible if only to keep myself warm because at night it's going to be cold the cold will kill me obviously uh so i just want the thatch floors first which should be up here thatch foundations um let's go for a you got six points left uh thatch walls where is it So, first job. Um, I need hide, is what I need. So let's make, I don't know, 10 spears. I'll do for now. Then we'll make however many foundations we can make, which is not a great deal. Uh, wood, I think, probably is what we're going to need. Oh, God. Or, uh, how, how long I can put up with the fact that my guy sounds like a woman, but I'll uh, we'll run with it. Just putting loads of points into weight for now. Um, there is a way of respecting later, uh, but this early in the game, the uh, weight is far more useful than anything else. Um, we can now do wood foundations, so we'll do that. Wood windows and door frames. Let's do that as well. Basically, the higher tier the items are that you're crafting, the more XP you get. So let's start making some wood foundations. I can only make one at the moment. And let's see what we need, what we're short of. So we're leveling up quite fast now. Dilophosaur's getting a bit close, as is that. away from them for a second okay we need wooden floors we need wood surprisingly enough no. 
Trying to figure out where a good place to put a base down would be. Best place to put it, uh, at first, anyway. Easy access to water and... There's plenty of the basic materials here that you need. It does concern me a little bit that the uh, Thunder Chicken is so close though, which uh, does not make me happy. I might see if I can get up there actually, maybe I can build the base up there, that might be a good place. If your weapon breaks like that, if you just press like number two, it'll repair it. Um, on top of here might be good. I might only have to defend myself for a moment. No, too close. So let's let's start heading around that way, and we'll see if we can get up there. Um, let me just... I think I'll throw away them. I'll just drop them. No, I won't drop them. I'll place them. Uh, if you place something down and then hold down E on it, you can demolish it. If you demolish it, it'll return some materials to you rather than just getting rid of it. I'll do that. Uh, the other thing you can do is actually, if you place them down already, um, if you just build the wood ones over the top of it, it'll just effectively demolish it and give you the materials back anyway. So, let's see if we're doing it. Right, I need hide. Um, that thing is following me, I'm sure it is. I did make some spears, so let's go get some hide so we can start building some of the other stuff that we need. Hold down right button, it'll throw it. Now, what you can do here is if you use your hatchet and use your pick, you'll get a different materials. Basically, the pick will generally give you more meat, the hatchet will give you more hide. That's pretty much the way that works. Uh, kill it. 31. Let's have a look. So the hide we need for many things, <laughs> chiefly of which uh, we're going to need some boulders, as I said. So let's make ten of those. I'll use all the hide we've got. Um, I think I did. Did I make a bow? No, because you need hide for a bow. So we still need to kill some more stuff. Um, but most of the sort of the early game useful tools require a little bit of hide, as well as the clothing that we're going to need to build. So need something else to kill. Yeah, those birds are a pain in the ass. I'd love to kill them, but they're a bit of a nightmare. Uh, where's that moss chops gone? All right, that thing seems to be coming this way, so I'm actually going to go around it to the other side. Well, I'm going to go up there and check that out first. It shouldn't aggro from the bottom of the cliff, so we'll start heading over there. No fiber. We're out of fiber. Fair enough. Okay, so inventory. Now we have all these hats. Let's equip that um, that we made earlier. Let's just chuck these on the ground, which is O, in case anybody is wondering. Uh, we have four wood foundations, which is not going to get us very far. 
uh, we are short of fiber at this point. So as we're heading up the hill, we'll grab some more fiber so we can build some more parts of the uh, the base. Um, it's not going to be a very exciting base. It's going to be uh, just something nice and simple. And now, if I do build a, uh, well, I, I will have to build another base at some point, um, so I'll build something a bit more extravagant, but for now it's just going to be a, a good old basic hut, and, um, just so we can get going. I don't want to spend ages building at this stage in the game. going thick and fast I'm thinking I've probably got the uh, the rates turned up for some reason um, let's unlock some of this I'll turn it down next time I go into the menu but for now I'm not going to worry about it uh, forge smithy pick hatchet trangaras it's a big thing that we need what was that that's yellow mines or whatever nothing to worry about I think we'll be alright on the uh, the edge of this little hill. Get up there and have a look at it. Now I'm too hot, probably because I'm not wearing any clothes. Which is what I also need to hide for, so we're going to have to get some more. This hill looks a bit bugged, doesn't it? So we're on top of the hill now. I think this would probably be a good spot to build. There's loads of trees and resources around here, so I'm not going to have to move too far. So let's start putting everything down here. We'll start clearing out all these bushes. Secure area for now, so I don't have to worry about anything coming and uh, biting me in the ass. Um, the beach is usually a good place to build, but also because there's a lot of herbivores on it. The carnivores end up eventually getting there. Um, this little hill here overlooking the beach, I should probably be okay. Um, I don't see anything in the trees, so it seems fairly safe at first look, at first glance. But we'll, uh, we'll find out soon enough. So, at this point, I just need to keep farming um, the level ups, and obviously, we need to get the, the base sorted. So, let's have a look. What are we. What do we, what do we need? What are we sure of? Wood. Lots of wood and thatch. Okay, no problem.
one good way early game to get um, levels is, which I probably should have started doing already, uh, let me just build one of those. I need a mortar and pestle. What are we short of? St stone again, of course. So we need more stone. Um, spark powder, basically. If you make spark powder, um, you do actually get XP for it, even though it's being made in the mortar and pestle. The other way is by making trank arrows and um, the um, narcotics. Sorry. Yeah, narcotics and uh, trank arrows, which we're going to need anyway. Um, spark power is also good for running the, uh, the forges and things, so we're going to make a bunch of that. in the way of uh, stone here, are we? for spark powder is flint so it's useful farming all of this up anyway Place that down. That's me just taking a, uh, a crap. Uh, if anybody hasn't played this game before, poop is actually useful. Um, you can make fertilizer out of it. So even your own poop or animal poop, take your pick. Doesn't really matter. Uh, so yeah, spark powder, flint and stone. So shove the stone in. What it was then? T it is to transfer. If you press T, it'll transfer like a whole stack over. Uh, if you press A, it'll just create all. So it's off now. So you look in the bottom right where the uh, like the gem is. You'll notice it going up now, slowly, but you will notice it going up, uh, which is effectively just the spark powder being built in there. So rather than uh, doing it manually, you can just do it that way. Um, now, we put the narco berries in there. We also need spoiled meat, which we have one of at the moment. So you make one narcotic. We're going to need a lot more than that. Um, the best way to spoil meat quickly is if you actually split the stack that's in your inventory. Like this, this spoil timer on here of 8 minutes and 30 odd seconds. When that timer counts down, you will lose one of this item. Whatever's on top. So you will go down to 30 and we'll get one piece of meat. If you actually split the stack and do split all, it now becomes 31 individual pieces of meat, and they will all spoil at the same time, and we will get 31 pieces of spoiled meat, which we'll put in there, um, and then we'll be able to make, what's that, 24 more narcotics. Um, need the narcotics we need to make narcotic arrows which are crafted in your inventory and um, we have some arrows we, we need a lot more arrows than this i'll build some more in a second 
I'll also got a club, gonna need it. Um, I'm just gonna see now if we can unlock any of the stone structures yet. I'd rather not build the entire base out of wood because I'll then have to redo it and build it out of stone anyway. Uh, how far away is the stone building parts? That's not it, is it? Uh, oh no, here we go. Yeah, we're already there. So stone foundations, stone windows and doors, uh, ceilings. Yep, do that. Um, we don't need any of these quarter ones or anything, at least not at the moment. Um, we'll probably want parachutes at some point, in case we fall off a cliff. Um, what else do we need? Uh, we'll need a preserving bin. We will need a feeding trough. Um, we're going to need a water tank taps and intake to feed the crops uh as far as crop uh plots go i wouldn't personally build the large ones i would just go for the mediums uh the reason being that um you only really need the large ones for some of the some more special items in the game the mediums are fine just for most things um but well, that would involve me actually being able to unlock them. Where are they? Small. So the medium's unlocked at 26. So we're not there yet. It's fine. I'll do for now. Um, so, in here, we have now a bunch of spark powder. This is still spoiling. Not going to worry about that for now. So, now we want to start making some stone foundations. Uh, which, strangely enough, require stone, which we don't have any of. Now, wooden tools that we're using now are garbage. <laughs> they hardly harvest anything, as you saw when I was trying to harvest those rocks a minute ago. To harvest all of that by hand, at 80 a block, based on how much we were getting, would take absolutely ages. You don't want to do that. Uh, at this point, realistically what you want is to get yourself a refining forge and a smithy. To do that, we need metal ingots. Um, so we're going to get this first so I'm going to get some stone, some flint and some hide what I am going to do though because my inventory is full and all this is rather heavy is build a storage box also place that down if you double click from your inventory put it on your bar uh, you can see these are on like alignment mode. If you hold down E, it's partial alignment mode now, so it'll just it won't collide into things. Hold E again, free placing mode, just do whatever you how you want. Hold E again, full alignment mode, it'll align to the floors, etc. Now let's just put this box for now here. Probably move it later, but for now that'll do. Move all that in there. Uh, that is now full. What I could do with, probably, is building another box, because one is clearly not enough. You can get bigger boxes, I just haven't unlocked them yet. Um, so we'll just have to build these for now. Now the question is, in the old version of Ark, in Survival Evolved, you could stack boxes if you had the S plus mod. Now, I do not know if it's going to let me stack these. So let's have a look. Will it let me stack them? It is. There we go. Beautiful. Fantastic. All right. So let's get those put in there. Yep. Transfer everything. Uh, all right. Let's go harvest some resources. Now, metal is what we need. And these rocks here, they will yield metal, but not a great deal. Not a great deal at all. Um, for metal, you want to use the hatchet. If it's a metal node, you want to use the pickaxe, but we need stone, so I want to use the hatchet on this. And the best place to get metal from, normally at least, or it was in Survival Vault, was actually from uh, rocks by or in water. So I'm going to go down to the beach in a second and have a look.
First things first, though, it's getting cold. Uh, I need some clothes, so give me the fiber. Let's craft some clothes. We've already got a hat on. Don't need that. Uh, we need hide for those. I don't think we've got any, do we? There's two. It's not enough for anything, is it? No. But for now, this will do. Uh, it's E to equip. In case anybody is wondering. Get a bit hungry. Fastest way to eat. Put it on your hot bar and just hold the button down. So that'll, go on. that'll keep us going for a little while. Not very long. Eating berries is not really a good way to feed yourself. Oh, actually, I think the meat spot. I nearly forgot about that. Let's go find the meat. No, nope, it's restacked it. Uh, okay, split it all up again. What you can do with the meat is you can actually put it into the uh, campfire and it will cook it, which is better because if you eat it raw, you might poison yourself or make yourself sick anyway. Uh, let's see if we can get down here without dying from four. The fall damage can be pretty nasty in this game, even if you don't fall very well. Still here. So we look on the left, it shows you what materials are getting. There's a piece of metal. making some pretty daft splash noises, but... actually need. How much metal have we picked up so far? One whole piece. Not terribly helpful. It can take a while to actually get all the metal you need. I can't remember what the conversion rate is actually. I think it's two pieces of metal per... Oh. Two pieces of metal per ingot. Uh, we need ingots for the um, smithy. picking up a lot of stone while we've been on the metal hunt so I will make foundations while we're out and about I'm going to try and get rid of some of the weight if we can of course we'll be converting it into foundations which are also heavy but it's better to it's better to craft on the go Stone, my thatch. Huh. 
I can hear him, I can't see him. I don't like that. There he's following me around. The aggro range is quite small, um, but if he comes up behind me and I don't see him, I'm in trouble. I haven't put any points into movement speed. There's no way in hell I'll get away from him at this point. It's uh, If he aggroes on me, I'm just dead <laughs> at this point. Just dead. Don't even bother running. Really. Just dead. Cold again. Not a problem, I think. What I can do is I can build some clothes. I don't need fiber. Okay. Be getting dark soon. I don't really want to be outside at night time because I can't see. Um, whereas the uh, the animals seem to be able to see better than I can anyway. So I'm going to want to head back to base at that point. So let's just try and get as much done now as we can. Especially as I'm probably going to freeze to death. So. and feet is what I was missing, then what gives us the most cold resist out of these shirt does, so let's make a shirt. Short hide, yet again. Should sort us out from being cold for now. See, my inventory is now full. I should still be able to move for the moment, but as soon as that box on the right-hand side is completely full up, I just won't be able to move. It's not a good idea to over yourself. If you do so and something comes to the attack sheet, you're basically screwed. So let's get some foundations built. One. One whole foundation. Serving bin, a compost bin. We need a load of arrows. Let's make a bunch of them. What do we need for that? Flint. Okay. So again, flint. You get your pick out rather than the hatchet. to wait for now. I'll probably get to about 500 weight and then I'll start putting it more than likely into moving speed um, so I can out outrun the raptors if they start chasing me around because uh, it will happen. Kill me at this point. Uh, there's a bit more hide. Just waiting. Level 2. If you shoot them in the head it does more damage. Uh, you have to hit them first though. Hitting them is uh, usually a good idea. Uh, you can pick your spears up just by walking over them.
Uh, they're tough little bastards, these things. What you want to do is hit them in the head and nowhere else. Spears back. Thank you. Um, so if you kill one of these, uh, these actually give you a different material. So rather than hide, you get chitin uh, normally. There you go. Keratin. That's keratin rather than chitin. The bone. Still get hide from it, but you also get a little bit of keratin. Trying to get metal. they've added that splash noise. It's kind of cool. I like that. I don't know if this rock is farmable. Doesn't look like... So I don't know why. Never mind. Yeah, we'll start heading back to base now. There's plenty of stone and things by base that we can try and get, so... Seriously, he needs to go away. Right, let's start heading back to the base. Totally fine. Uh, you just walk up to it and press E. There you go. Water's full. Uh, yeah, it doesn't doesn't dehydrate you. It doesn't do anything. You can drink seawater. That's. Engrams we can unlock again in a minute. Well, I mean, there's no point in me unlocking anything pretty much at this point until uh, we've got the smithy down, uh, which requires the forge first. So that's what I'm trying to do now get the forge sorted.
never ending quest for stone. As far as dinos go, um, for stone you need to tame a Dodicarus, which are the little armadillo type things. Um, I don't play on the island that often, so obviously the island is the only map that is available at the moment for Survival Ascended. I don't play on the island very much, so I don't know exactly where the Dodicaruses are, but I'm sure I'll find some. Um, so yeah, the, the, the dinos I want to try and tame as soon as I can. Ideally would be a moss chops, um, just for fibre. A little for stone. Um, then we're going to need something that can help us fly. At which point the choice is either an Argentavis or a... Lovely. Uh, an Argentavis or a Pterodon. I'd rather take an Argentavis because it means I can actually carry some of the dinos around with me. With me. You can pick them up in the talons basically, you press C when you're over the top of them. So I'm going to want an Argentavis. Um, that's all the basic materials. Uh, wood is a bit of a problem at this stage of the game. Um, you can tame the beavers, um, or you can tame a stego. Stegos are good for wood as well. You can also tame the thunder chickens, uh, although at this stage of the game I don't think I'm going to go near that thing. Aside from that, um, wood-wise, they're probably the best ones to try and get. I have the beavers or a stego. I, mean, I haven't seen these stegos yet, so it's largely irrelevant at this point, but they're not too difficult to get. They're slow, so you can just pretty much walk backwards with a little bit of running away every now and again just to hit them. Uh, so they're easy enough to tame. Uh, obviously, at the high level, it's going to take a, a good whack of um, arrows to knock it down, but not the end of the world. So, let's put the stone foundations down now. Uh, I will, just to show you, uh, if you put this over a block that's already there, if you look on the left, it'll return to you what was used to construct it. So you don't end up losing everything out of it. Now, let's see what we've got. 100 stone, that's 132 stone. What do we need for the forge? We just need some fibre now. There we go, fibre. So I'll make a forge. I prefer to make two, but I haven't got the stone for it or the hide. So we'll just make one for now. The forge can be fueled by either wood, thatch, or spark powder. Uh, the good thing about putting wood in it is it will chase the charcoal, which you need to make gunpowder. So it's always a good idea to do that. Um, I'm going to cook up a little bit of the meat I've got. Uh, let's put that in. Uh, not in there, I'm not. Uh, in there, we need to put... Give me one second. We need to make a smithy. So the smithy requires ingots rather than just metal. Um, it requires five ingots, which I believe is ten metal. I think it's two metal per ingot. Now we have... there's one piece on me. And there's four in there. So that's only five pieces. So we still need to go and get more metal. So the problem at this stage of the game is it's just trying to get the metal sorted. It's a pain in the backside. Uh, other things you can build in here, if you put in, if I remember correctly, um, oh, what's that? What was that? Is that just an ambient sound? Yeah, anyway, you can make uh, fuel, uh, which I believe is oil and hide, I think, or fibre, I can't remember what it is. It's been a while. Uh, right, so let's look in here. We have... Let's put the flint in there and make some more spark powder. Let's put the rotten meat in there. Let's split this stack. We have that rotten meat already. So we have consumables, drugs, narcotics. So we make 18 of those. We've got 17 arrows. I need to craft some more arrows. I don't think I've got any flint left though. We need a little bit of flint. 
There's a rock. Now you can see why I don't really want to walk around at night, because it gets absolutely pitch black. You can't see a damn thing. in those trees and I would not see it. Um, I'd hear it, but I wouldn't see it. I don't want to uh, I don't want to be doing that. That does not sound friendly whatever that is. I think it's just an ambient sound. I don't think there's actually a dino there. But I can't hear it properly. Uh, all right, so arrows. Let's make yeah. Let's make twenty nine of those bowlers. We're going to need them, especially if any raptors turn up. Uh, let's make the bow. In fact, let's cancel that queue. Make the bow first, then make the arrows, then make the bowlers. Uh, a few more points in weight. Like I said we'll get to five hundred. Uh, now, if we look in here, this should have yeah. It's made two. So we need another five pieces of metal. That's what we're going to have to go and get. Uh, let's just have a look in campfire. We'll put the meat in there as well as half of a stack of wood. That will cook the meat so we've got a little bit of food. I'm just going to store the spears for now. I don't really need them. I've got arrows for the bow. Um, I'm carrying around a cloth shirt. I don't need that anymore. Let's drop it. We've got bowlers, which I will put in the last slot there, where I always put them. Okay, so um, we've got some more narco berries here. Let's put them in the mooring pestle. Let's make a few more drugs. Essentially, if you look at the uh, bottom right, the um, XP bar, that's basically the narcotics being made. It gives you a massive chunk of XP. Uh, so we'll just put the narcotics in that we've made there, and then we'll make some trank arrows. Again, if you look at that, it should go up a little bit. Doesn't seem to be, actually. Not very fast. But actually, the process of making the narcotics is the best thing. Uh, we've got a load more meat here. We're actually out of berries is the problem now. I don't think we've got any more. No. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, the next thing I'm going to try and teach anybody who doesn't know, is the cooking pot. So let's gather a bit of stone for the cooking pot. The cooking pot is great. Uh, not only does it cook meat... I don't like the sound of that cook the meat you can actually make recipes with it um, so rather than just like one piece of meat you can make a recipe with no, 10 pieces of meat basically it'll fill you up faster um, I tend to do something like five berries and then like not five berries five pieces of meat or maybe 10 pieces of meat and then uh, some berries on top of that um, berries give you a teeny teeny tiny bit of water so that should keep you topped up as you're running around. I'm going to quickly get that made and then I'm going to end this episode. I'll try and keep them to about an hour long. Get the cookie pot made, I'll show you how to make the recipes and then We'll end this episode there. Okay, 
much stone we've got. We need 75 stone. We've got way more than that. Well, I need more anyway, so let's just keep hitting it. Let's have a look in our inventory. We want to craft a cooking pot, which we can. The other thing you will need is a note, one of these. So craft one of them as well. So you have a note and a cooking pot. I don't like the note text yet. Don't bother doing that. Just leave it. Right, so inventory. Let's move the cooking pot onto our bar. Uh, we'll also move the preserving bin as well. I don't need to be carrying them around. If you want to clear anything off your bar at the bottom, by the way, just right click on it. Uh, or left click on it. Gets rid of it. The two are not exactly base, but getting there. Uh, let's put the cooking pot down. That sounds like a Dilophosaur. Let's put that down. Right. Now, needs fuel. Uh, we did make some spark powder. Yeah, that is a lot so. You notice behind that one there's actually a baby Dilophosaur. so that's something they added in um Survival Ascended. Um now because I have some meat on me, I can just well, I don't think it matters actually, but I can imprint it. So I now am the proud owner of a baby Dilophosaur. so. Which will need to be fed. Um, it's an easy way to get dinos rather than taming them. Much easier, especially if you can find a stego walking around, because the the level of the baby will be, always be the same as the level of the Dilophosaur in this instance. So where is the Dilophosaur? Did I harvest it already? I think I must have done. Um, you can use whistles to command your dinos. That was for me anyway. I have all my keys remapped, but U is stop for me. If you press T. It'll follow you. If you press... Well, it depends which button you've got it mapped to, but... I think, there you go. For me, it's... A comma. You can actually tell it to go somewhere. Well, so, bring it back up here. Okay, so, compost bin. Don't want that inside the base, do we? Absolutely not. Let's just put it down here somewhere. Uh, in that, basically, you put thatch and poo. And it'll convert it into compost. Preserving bin. Let's shove that over here somewhere. Uh, full alignment. It's not aligning with anything, really, is it? Uh, let's put it here. I think that'll do for now. The preserving bin, you can make jerky, basically. A bit of spark powder, a bit of meat and a bit of oil. Um, but, so, cooking pot. What we need is... Give me that. Uh, so, where's the rest of the berries at? Let's grab the berries. So, if we go to the cooking pot, uh, let's just put some wood in it for now. Let's put 50 of each berry type in there. And do split amount as well, which is probably easier. It's going to do 50 of each berry and then five meat. So just put the note in there, light the fire. I 
we consume that, it'll just try and make a note text, which is not what we want to do. That needs to be in there. Uh, why is it not letting me craft the recipe? It should be. Hang on, if I disable autocraft, there you go, click on the disable autocraft button. So I'm telling it to put in 50 of each thing and 5 meat. Let's just call it, I don't know, cheapo food. Um, you can change the colours of the regions if you want to make it look nice. I don't know, what's a, what's a button colour? That's a button colour. Uh, what's that, meat? I don't know, let's go with black. Burnt meat, lovely. Um, don't know what that is. A bit of lettuce and, well, I don't know, something purple. Whatever. Uh, so that'll make food. You can make drinks separately. Um, so if you just click make recipe, it will then give you this. Put that in the pot. You can see it there. So it's made one piece of cheapo food. So if you look at all these individually, obviously there's nothing much going on there. This will give you health, stamina, food, etc. It gives you 160 food. I require 100 food to fill my inventory. So by eating that, that should, in theory, fill my food up in one go. Um, just means you can carry a bit of food around with you rather than trying to pick up meat and things to feed yourself. And it's a lot easier. Um, it did also make the water noise, which it didn't say on the um, the recipe. That it gives you water, but it seems to have done so. So I'm just going to put the berries in here. Now you'll notice I've put these in. These are stim berries. Um, they will recover your stamina faster, but I think they damage your health. Don't really want them in a recipe. Um, the meat I'll just chuck in here. And obviously we've got some cooked meat here, which you can obviously eat as well. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to drop them for now. I don't need the stimberries at this moment in time. Uh, I'll get rid of them as well. Uh, I've got bowlers. We want those. Apparently I already made a load of them. I didn't realise. Let's put them back. Give me those arrows. Get rid of the seeds. Can't plant them at the moment anyway. Make a bit of room. Let's have a look in this box. Okay, there's not a lot in there. That's fine. So, I will take these out ready for the next episode where we are going to try and craft a smithy ideally i would like some walls on this base um but i want to get the smithy done before i do anything else because otherwise it's just going to be a nightmare having to farm stuff with wooden tools which i don't want to do so we need more metal so next episode first job metal uh, episode one thank you for watching and i will see you again soon